Here we go. Hey guys, Maker CK here, and today I thought I'd show you a tachometer that I built using an Arduino. I was goofing around with another project and got curious what the RPMs of a motor I had built uh, would be, so I was able to throw this together and it worked pretty well. I already had the Arduino, so uh, all I needed to do was go to the electronic store and pick up an infrared LED and an infrared photo transistor, and the rest was pretty simple to do. The computer code for it was like 20 to 30 lines of computer code. That's with, I also put a LCD display on as well, but otherwise the computer code is just a few lines of code, and um, it was pretty easy to do. So I'll bring the camera around, zoom in, and show you how it's put together. Okay guys, here we are zoomed in. Let me give you the quick rundown of what we have set up here. I have the Arduino here, uh, and I'm using a LCD display so I don't have to be tethered to the computer. When I originally set this up, I was um, outputting all the data to the serial monitor, um, but I didn't want to have to keep plugging into the computer, so I, I put this in here. I'll show you the code, um, the Arduino code, after I give a quick example of how this works, but most of the code is actually for the LCD. Uh, the total lines of code is like 20 to 30 lines, and the majority of it's just to get this to work. But that's pretty standard uh, code that you can find. And then here we have the uh, phototransistor circuit set up. Uh, I have it set up so that it counts the interrupts. So it's got the light going back and forth, and then anytime you break the plane, it counts it on there. So what's happening is the voltage is going from uh, registering from high to low. And um, it's set on a one second delay, so it just counts the number of interrupts in a second and multiplies that times 60, and that's how it's given the RPMs. Uh, let's see what else here. Well, let's just do a quick example. Let me do a quick example here. I built this. I put together this um, circuit so that I could control the speed of this DC motor, and then I have a piece of black tape that's going to interrupt it. Um, I originally set this up just with a potentiometer directly to a battery which worked for a while until I burnt out the potentiometer so this time I set it up properly so I can reuse this in the future. So let's give it a go. Okay here we are. There it's registering around 2760 Let's speed it up. And let's take it down. See how slow we can make it go. How slow can we go? Oh! That doesn't count. Zero doesn't count. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. So, one other thing I thought I'd show you is how the Arduino is registering the voltage here. So, I have the multimeter set up. Let's just do a quick, a quick test here of the voltage. Okay, you can see there it's registering 4.6, and as soon as I break the plane, it'll drop to almost zero. Back up, drops. So that's what's feeding into the interrupt channel, the interrupt pin on the Arduino. And all it's doing is it's just looping through every second and counting how many times that's done. All right. That's basically it. Let me show you the... Let me switch over and show you the code. And uh, also, if you um, if you comment and you want better description of the circuit here, I can show it to you. It's pretty standard for a photo photo transistor setup. You can you can do that in a few different ways. But all I have here is the LED set up like any other LED. Um, and then here's the photo transistor, and you have the five volts feeding in, going to the 10k ohm resistor. 
through the photo transistor that's kind of it switched the long and short ends um, and then this feeds into that feeds back into the ground and this feeds into the interrupt channel there so when lights present it lets the flow go through and then when you um, when you block it, it it drops it as you saw with the multimeter example for the resistor here if you use a higher resistor you get more sensitivity if you use a lower resistor um, you get faster response Okay guys, let's go through the Arduino code for the optical tachometer and bear with me, I uh, know my microphone has been being a little funky lately. Alright, starting at the top, just a quick note, the infrared LED is connected to pen 13 and the infrared phototransistor is connected to pen 2, which is interrupt 0. Here we start off by declaring our variables. This section here, we're setting up the liquid crystal display. This is our function for counting the number of breaks or interrupts. Let's scroll down here. This section here, setting up the LCD. Here's where we set up the attach interrupts for interrupt 0, then calling our function. Falling is uh, triggering any time we go from high to low on the Arduino. The next section here is turning the LED on. Setting, the number, setting our variables to zero. Okay, then we just go into the loop. We delay by one second. We have this set to a thousand. This is in milliseconds. Uh, and then we detach interrupt. So we're not processing the interrupts during our calculations. Our calculation here is simply 60 times the number of breaks in that second. That's what our RPMs are. And just a quick note that if you're using a prop that has two or three interrupts per rotation, you'll need to change the formula a little bit based on how many times it breaks the plane in one rotation. I was in this section uh, printing to the serial monitor, but I've commented that out as I'm using the LCD. Resetting the number to zero and printing the RPMs out to the LCD display. And then lastly, um, resetting the interrupt to call our function. That's it. Okay. Well, comment if you have any questions, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. That way, when I do my next video, if you're interested, I can do a, another video on this setup of the variable speed motor. But let's do one last test. I'll just hook this directly up to the to the nine volt battery. We'll see how fast it goes it's, instead of putting it through the potentiometer okay here we go yeah now we're moving here we go well that battery is a little bit low otherwise it'd be more like above 9000 rpms but there you go, you can see it's, it's close to that. Okay, thanks for watching. That's all for now.